In our morning rounds, we are focusing on a tiny skin sensor that may revolutionize healthcare. Skin like silicon patches are being tested to monitor stroke recovery and breathing disorders. A new study in the journal Science shows how they could also help babies who are born prematurely. Researchers found wireless sensors attached to the chest and foot prove just as reliable as traditional electrodes for tracking babies' heart and respiration rates, temperature, blood oxygen levels, and blood pressure. Dr. John LaPook got a close look at this new technology. John, good morning. Good morning, John. Each year, 300,000 American newborns are admitted to the neonatal ICU, the NICU. At any moment, an alarm may signal that they need help. The new ultra-thin electronic patches could break preemies free of the wires that monitor them and safely allow them a less confined start to life. When Olivia McDonough arrived 15 days ahead of schedule, she needed surgery to help her breathe and swallow. Her first two weeks were spent wired to machines at Chicago's Lurie Children's Hospital, watched closely by her mom, Casey. It's just a constant reminder that we're here and that she's maybe not yet a normal newborn baby. All these wires monitor a newborn's breathing and circulation and alert doctors to any sign of infection. When you're breastfeeding, is it a little bit clunkier to we're have tangled. the wires? You guys can tell just by how we're standing right here. We're, uh, we're tethered and uh -huh. we're kind of at the mercy of the cords. Bless. Now, a collaboration between doctors and engineers at Northwestern University has given birth to these skin-like wireless sensors. His ticklish feet. Fine metal threads capture information like vital signs and oxygen levels. An antenna under the crib powers the sensors and streams data to a monitoring station. I'm personally very excited about the possibility of using engineering to improve human health. For more than a decade, John Rogers and his research team have been fine-tuning this sensor technology. Even though this looks like we might be in an ICU, we're in your lab, so you're able to figure out all the ins and outs. Yeah, it's really important to think about the full picture. We had a clear vision. This is where we wanted to end up. We couldn't be happier with the outcome. The sensors are gentle on fragile neonatal skin, which is 40 to 60 percent thinner than that of an adult. Study co-author Dr. Amy Paller treats skin injuries in preemies. 45% of them come away with some kind of scars from procedures and from the adhesives that attach them to these various wired devices. Those wireless patches allow parents to do something they're wired to do, cuddle with their newborns. There have been studies that have shown that that skin-to-skin -skin contact, especially in these premature babies, decreases the risk of development of infection, of kidney issues, of lung issues. It goes a long way. And cutting those cords would have one very practical advantage. Changing a diaper will be easier without all the cords. While final testing is completed, babies in the study wore both the new patches and the old wires as a backup. Doctors say it will be about two years before these sensors are in regular use. And I got to tell you, I know just how great it would be to have them because my son Noah was born at 31 weeks, three pounds, six ounces. Aww. He was in the neonatal ICU for about three weeks. And but it ended very well because uh, he is there he almost is. 23 pounds. A little bigger now. He's there six he feet is. tall. He's an actor. Doesn't need a and, diaper uh, change. College graduate. And now I can finally hug him whenever I want. Yes. He's okay with that. That's great. So, John, how, how much are these going to cost when, when they roll out? Relatively cheap, 10 bucks each. Oh, and wow. they're reusable. So uh, it's going to make a, a, a big difference. There you have people. them right there. No wires. That sounds like a good deal. John LaPook, Doc, always great to see you. Nice to see you.